Hey, what's going on, everybody? Blaze here coming at you with another Naruto Shinobi Collection news update. This one's going to be a little different, recording this in portrait on my phone. Um, Discord is acting like a hoe right now. I, don't, I think it's OBS on my computer. I need to get a new computer, so OBS is being a bitch. I would have did it on OBS, but um, yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it right here real quick. Um, Godly Shisui is coming to the game. You guys will be very interested to uh, hear my opinion on him towards the end of the uh, video. So let's get into it. Again, because OBS sucks. Um, we're going to get an opportunity, a share campaign. So we'll get an opportunity to get 50 stones for the game. Um, make sure you guys retweet and share online like usual. Always do that. Especially when you have one of these um, kind of special things going on. So we have an opportunity to get stones to summon for. Um, scroll down right here. Premium mileage points will be doubled between the 31st and the 1st. So if you want to wait a uh, day to summon on Shisui's banner, you can. Um, I really don't care because I got like 10, over 10,000 of them. So I'm not really hurting for premium mileage points. But um, I, who knows? I might even still be summoning around that time anyway, depending on if, whether or not I get them or if I even summon or not. Um, Shisui's event will be up. 31st through the 8th, he'll be here for about a week. You have an opportunity to get Shisui's gear, his um, Monkey with Shurangan, um design, and a um, gear ticket that gives you any Uchiha uh, gear on it. That'll be very helpful. PvP will be coming back for the 5th through the 8th. That'll be Friday to pretty much the end of uh, Sunday or Monday. So that'd be pretty cool right there. Um, it's always hard for me to grind PvP because Friday I'm at work. So it's kind of like um, I don't really have that much time to grind because I'm kind of like I need to sleep. So, you know, when I get home from work Thursday or Friday, Thursday, I'm sleeping. And then, you know, Friday afternoon when I wake up to go to work, I need to go to work. And then Friday night I get home and then before I know it, it's fucking Saturday. So I like I lost a day of grinding, which, you know, JP players, they don't miss days. Um, the uh, third through the 30th. Um, you will have an opportunity to get this um, point ranking thing. This typical stuff we usually get. It's going to be another point booster, so don't worry too much about it. Just go ahead and max them out or if, if you need to max them out for stones. And uh, make sure you grind all the missions up. I think the new thing now is getting to about 1.5 million. So make sure you grind that up. Get all the um, Nindo tickets, train materials, and stones you can out of this. And um, keep it moving. Rock League and Guy, something going on with the potential system. I think they're going to have like just opened up for that entire month, maybe. But we'll see more on the 8th. I'm not entirely sure. I would translate it, but you can't translate the fancy kind of font. So um, I don't know. It's probably just something like you'll just be have infinite. Um, no, you, it won't cost you any keys to run the mission, probably. But we'll, like I said, we'll know once we get that one for sure. Twitter and line. Here are the rewards for getting it. Pretty much just um, refreshes for um, 3v3. Uh, some potential um, awakenings. for Looks like gold potential awakenings. And then um, some stones. The stones are what I mostly care about. And the potential stuff. I ain't gonna say I don't care about the potential stuff. Especially since I'm starting to max more and more and more uh, 90 cost units out. Um, now this right here, it was the interesting thing right here. This one right here is with the characters who won the voting banner and the... Um, the um well on the voting banner now we i don't know what buff they're gonna get i don't know if they're gonna get a gear buff a general buff or a seven star buff i was thinking they probably won't get a seven star buff because that um itachi right there in the middle is already a seven star i think shisui is too so i don't it doesn't really seem like it would make sense to give them a seven star buff since they're already seven star so i don't think it's going to be who gets a seven star um, it'd probably be maybe it just be a general bump to their um, abilities and skills because some of these have really outdated skills like, you know, three times like like 5000 some dumb shit like that. So there will be a nice buff. Um, Itachi and um, Sasuke have won in the past. So it's interesting to see them constantly winning. But if Sasuke decides to become meta again or Itachi, I wouldn't even mind that. I don't have the Shisui. So if he does come back on a banner, if he actually comes out and is really good, then I'll go ahead and get him. These are the units that won for the yellow typing, by the way. These units are the units that won for blue typing. I don't remember who I picked for blue typing, but it wasn't either of these. Um, I guess Itachi would be interesting. I just pulled the um, version 2 EX Destroyer Itachi. Don't know if the um, bump they give to this one will be um, put him on the level of the other one. I doubt it. They never really do do stuff like that. So it'd be interesting to see what they decide to do with him. Um, Obito one, I really didn't care that much about this one. I think he got a seven star buff. I'm not entirely sure. I can't really remember, but um, I haven't used him in forever. I remember I tried to get him when he first came out on the banner and didn't get him. Uh, Sasuke, um, 
I don't use Sasuke, but I wouldn't mind it because it's a Sasuke unit. So any buff to a Sasuke unit is a good day for me. Uh, we'll come down here now. Red type units. Um, Origin um, Itachi just pulled him. So if he's getting a buff, that'll be interesting. This Itachi was like, was just, was just, I don't remember. Was he good when he first came out? I can't remember. Because I pulled Kitty and Sasuke because he was on his banner with him. Um, he's getting a buff. I pulled him a bunch of fucking times. So it's going to be interesting to see him get a buff. Wonder, like I said, I don't know what kind of buff they'll get. Hopefully it'll be something decent. Um, and Minato. So that'll be cool too. I haven't used Minato since he like came out. Like I used him for like a couple of days after he came out. And I was like, I'm good on him. Um... Now, this one right here is a really good one for the black typing units. Birthday Naruto may possibly make a comeback. 2018 Birthday Naruto may possibly make a comeback. Um, Origin Minato. Um, EX Straight Itachi. A lot of Itachis on here. That's pretty good. He can go on a Leaf Village team because he has Leaf Village affiliation. So, that'll be actually very cool. And he's still, I think he's still a very pretty interesting and powerful unit because of his second skill. Um, down here for the white typing unit, Sage Mo Naruto's getting buff. Insta kill Obito. I'm actually not mad about that. Insta kill Obito. Any buff to an insta kill unit for me is a as a plus. Come on now, insta kills being able to get some sort of a buff that is awesome. I don't care what it is. Hopefully it's a speed buff and I get more opportunities to insta kill some fucking body. That would be awesome. Um, and Minato, he used to be the Flash God. I think he at one point he was like the fastest unit in the game, but he has severely fallen off. Units have surpassed him in speed and utility and all this other stuff. So. Um, yeah, he's really falling off. I loved him when he first came out, and I haven't used him in months. Um, and that's pretty much it right there as far as the news go. So let's go over fucking Shisui now. Because, uh, Shisui is very, a very interesting unit. Um, Shisui right here, Koto Matsukami, Eye of the Imperial Fastest. Oh, wait, both his cast speeds are on Fastest. That's awesome. So you only got to give him like one gear to get him on Flash. Uh, deal 3% plus 1 million to all enemies. Chance to ignore resistance, skill dodge, and inflict God Frenzy to a random enemy. So this dude has God Frenzy. Remember Red Shisui putting you in the Frenzy state, making you attack your, uh, making the enemy attack themselves until they killed each other? He's going to have a God version of that. Sounds broken? It kind of is. Um, consume all chakra. Deal more damage the more chakra consumed. Two times per chakra. 100 chakra, excuse me. God Frenzy. Attack, crit chance, and crit damage plus 1,000%. Speed plus 300% remove buffs debuff stats affects genju to special states and god states except for the god frenzy remove an immune to cover randomly attack an ally high chance to inflict the god frenzy to a random ally per turn that's for the enemy don't don't think like when it says ally don't let it confuse you um he hits very hard 12 million with type advantage so you know me i'll probably hit him harder with um something else some kind of unit um second skill is pondering about existence fastest Truck cost 90. What it does is um, party attack and speed get buffed by 100%. Cast speed plus one. Grant Kono allies self and trust state and trust. Skills damage plus 150%. Fish damage deals zero damage. His leader skill is Konoha speed plus 100%. Chance to dodge. Don't really care about that. I'll probably be using the uh, Naru Sasuke um, kind of um, leader skill. That leader skill is superior. Um. Mutual brilliance for one turn. Chance to inflict the God Frenzy God State when attacked. Grant the Entrust State to party upon death plus 200% skill dodge. That ability one is very fucking powerful. Wow. Wow. Even though it's for one turn, being able to just get touched and you fucking inflict the God Frenzy State is just stupid. Um, he has a withstand plus three. Speed plus 100% per turn i max is 500 percent damage cut plus 50 percent against ex origin and destroyer and then um type advantage for ability three like always here's the gear that'll best run on him you think the chief sweet is really good guys think he's really good i think he's very interesting we even had a nice chat about him over here let me read over this chat so you guys can like see what we were talking about it was really fucking crazy so um we were deciding like this dude is cancerous we don't know how we're gonna beat him all this crazy stuff so yuya goes on ahead and drops the translations as usual shout out to the homie yuya once again we appreciate it fuck this guy you better make sure you don't touch him or before he acts first he will be ss probably Right, he got it. And then I'm over here like, what the fuck? He gets touched and he gets this. He has a chance to fuck you over. All he has to do is get touched. He doesn't even have to die. Just get touched. He'll have a withstand, so he'll probably survive it. It's like Ray. He's like Red Sheets. We all over again. Like I was saying, he has a God version of his in frenzy state. Jesus Christ. So he's not like slow him down. Nope. 
So I'm over here like, is there a counter? God, Jariah? Nope. I'm like, I don't have that motherfucker. But he's like, no, God, Jariah can't do either. He doesn't remove God states. Aw, oh, fucking shit. So I'm like, can Godly Sasuke help maybe? And then he said, well, Yui is like, oh, wait, never mind. Shuisui gets destroyed by God Killer Naruto. He ain't SS anymore. <laughs> the range of emotions we went through during that fucking brief conversation were just fucking stupid. I'm over here like, wow. I'll say, how? King of Base makes Naruto immune to negative God states. I'm like, oh, yeah, it does. And I have Naruto gold framed. And then I think Sasuke removes negative um, God states, too, or positive God states. He removes God states, I think, too, so... Sasuke can just like remove them and Naruto can create a terrain that makes you immune to them. And then Naruto's terrain stops insta kills and withstands and shit and revives. Naruto claps his fucking cheeks. And my Naruto, since I gave him chance for type advantage, this uh, Naruto would have type advantage over Shisui because he's black and he's a god killer. Actually, isn't Shisui a white typing? So wouldn't Shisui. Oh, yeah. Oh now I just looked at it. I'm crazy. Let me unless I'm crazy. Let me look. Shisui's white typing, so he would have had type advantage anyway. Oh yeah. See. Oh fuck yeah. Naruto claps his cheeks. Then Naruto claps his cheeks. So now everybody's saying skip. And um, now that I think about it, um. Honestly, y'all, because let's be honest, on the God banner, the rates are going to be shit. They're probably going to make you do five multis like always to get either to 2% or whatever percent they choose. Um, it's probably going to have version one Godly Shisui on it. Maybe they'll throw an Itachi or two on there. Uh, maybe a Sasuke or two. Um, maybe they'll squeeze Kakashi or in there. But like, I already have the units and based off of what i think is going to be on the banner i don't think shisui is worth the summons if you have god killer naruto then i would say don't summon for shisui because you don't really need him now if you really like shisui you want to summon for him then you know fuck what i have to say but even even if you don't have naruto i probably don't think shisui is worth all that because the only time you'll be scared to run into him is on three three and pvp but like i said if you had naruto you can just you know clap his cheeks with him try to get like the god killer naruto he's very fucking good he claps his cheeks with just she sweeps cheeks badly so god killer naruto is just the the hard counter to him so i'm just i don't even know if i want to summon anymore because i do want to try the frenzy state but i don't know if i want to summon on it for that all that so I don't know. I'm gonna leave it up to y'all. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's a difficult choice to say skip, but I'm gonna say skip because don't forget um, Itachi's birthday is on the 9th of June, I think. So that's in about like a week or in a couple of days. So just save for that because we don't know what kind of busted shit Itachi's gonna do. And who knows? Shisui might come back on Itachi's banner because the um, Shisui's banner ends on the 8th and Itachi's birthday is on the 9th. So if Itachi's birthday comes after Shisui's banner goes away, and you know that to re release the God leads on banners um, right after they go away, they have to come right back. Who knows? They might throw Shisui back on Itachi's banner. So just, you know, some food for thought. I don't know what exactly they're going to plan on doing, but, you know, some food for thought just before you summon. So, yeah. But um, other than that, guys, that's going to be it for this news update right here. You guys like this video? Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. All that bullshit. This me, your boy, Blazehood. Peace out.